guys, it's Lord with How To Beauty. And if I couldn't come back with the best video ever talking about the smallest purse I own, I have done it. And I'm here for you to show you the smallest purse I own and I don't know why. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe the video. We are at over 300 subscribers. So thank you all so very much. Thank you no matter where you are, at what time of day it is for watching. Get cozy. It's going to be a fast one, but I just wanted to show you this. So there's a brand called Telfar, Telfar, Telfar. Um, and this guy makes um, handbags that, um, I don't know, I don't know if that's his last name. I really didn't check too much into it, but I don't know if you've seen these handbags before. Now, when I went to purchase, I saw the sizing but I really didn't imagine it was going to be this size, but the color is so cute. So I ended up buying a bigger one, but this is about my smallest bag. So I will bring that video to you with this bag again next time, but let's just show you. So I don't know, do you, how, what do you think? Is this color not like so cute and rich? Um, so this is the brand. Um, it is the smallest handbag I own. Here is the only thing about this handbag that is, I don't know, makes it not very functional. If I just wanted to carry this like this, which is kind of what I was thinking when I purchased it, I would just carry it like this. You've got these ungodly, but very practical size, um, shoulder straps. So if you wanted to just hold it like this, I guess you could just carry it around like that, but that looks crazy. Look, it's killing me. It's trying to kill me. It's a shut up, Lauren. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so let's put these in here. Cause that, I don't remember if it came with these in here. If you put the shoulder straps in the bag, it's gonna mess up the shoulder straps. And now my bag is full with shoulder straps. So what do you think about that? I wanna know, comment. So I have my phone, right? That fits in there with the shoulder straps shoved down in there. Um, I guess a lip gloss and maybe a small wallet. I guess I can carry it like that. I guess it's not too bad, right? But that I kind of want to cut the straps off, even though I paid like a stupid price for this. I kind of want to just cut the straps off, but then when you wear it, you can wear it like this and that's kind of long, right? Kind of long, not really, but if you're just wearing it regular. Then it's regular size, regular length. So I just wanted to show you this handbag. Um, I got a larger size. This is like a, oh gosh. I want to say 11 or 12 inches and I got a 30 inches, which is like the yellow Birkin I own. So it's much larger. And I got an even prettier color. This one's like, I want to say a neon pink matches my nails perfectly. Um, but I got a bubble gum pink bigger. So I'll show you that one. But just tell me what you think about this brand. If tell me what you know, um, tell me if you would buy something for like $400 for this size. Um, let me see. I want to see how much I paid for this. Maybe it was 300. Maybe it wasn't. Tell for handbag came up right away. So I guess I'm saying it right. Um, yeah, this little one. It's hard to tell you guys. There's the little one. So maybe, maybe I paid 200, 150 to 200 for this. 
but let me know what you think. Short little video. Just wanted to get back into the handbag, you know, showing you the handbags I have and just let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you soon. Bye.